Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to animate this card animation inside of After Effects. So, this is a very simple and easy to do animation. Even if you are new to After Effects, you can do it easily. Just follow along with the lesson. And for this lesson specifically, you will get the illustration file of this particular illustration. You can get your copy from the link in the description. Go download it and try this animation on your own and follow along with the lesson. So let's proceed with the animation. So right now we are inside of After Effects and this is the way I have separated the layers inside of Adobe Illustrator. And first of all, I'm going to pre-comp everything with the card and the character just excluding the background elements so for that i'm selecting the forearm hand and then i'm going to press shift and select this shadow which is the card shadow let's check it out if everything is selected yeah everything is selected so i'm going to right click on it and pre-comp it and let's name it okay so after that i'm going to pre-comp the head with the fa all the facial features so for that i'm going to select the cheeks and then i'm going to select the lips this is the top layer of the head so let's check it out if everything is selected yeah everything is selected and let's name it head so for the head i'm going to change the anchor point with this particular pen behind tool and i'm going to put the anchor point somewhere around here same with the neck i'm going to put the anchor point of the neck somewhere around here for the body let's solo it first and then i'm going to put the anchor point around here for the forearm i'm going to put the anchor point over here and for the arm i'm going to put the anchor point over here and for the arm as well i'm going to add pin tool on it and convert it into bones later on so but before that i'm going to just fix this particular mouth as you can see the extra portion of the teeth and the tongue portion is outside the mouth so let's fix it up so for that i'm going to first of all convert this lip layer this, this is an illustrator file i'm going to convert it into a shape layer so for that right click on it and create create shape layer from vector layers and just delete the illustrator file because we don't need it anymore and we are going to delete this outline which is renamed after that and after that i'm going to again do the same with the mouth in layer this particular layer all right and after that i'm going to open the path property and as you can see there is a pick pip kind of sign and i'm going to also open the path property of this lip layer and i'm going to connect this one with this one this lip layer so what it will do is when I just change the shape of the lip or the path property of the lip, the mouth layer will also follow. So after that, I'm going to copy this three times and put it one above the tongue, one above teeth and one above another teeth and just use those layers as alpha mats. Okay, so after that, I'm going to simply parent it with its mats. And I'm going to select this mats and parent it with the actual mouth in and parent this one with lip. Okay. So after that, I'm going to add a distortion effect on this lip. So for that, just check on this so effects and presets panel. If you don't find it over here, go over here in windows and just tick it. Okay. And I'm going to just search for wave and I'm going to apply this particular wave wrap double click on it okay and I'm going to give speed of 2 and give it the direction minus 60 degrees and let's give the height 3 okay all right and after that I'm going to copy this effect and select these three mats and even the mouth layer and paste it over here yeah it's perfect so after that i'm going to do the same with this chicks layer this particular layer 
so i'm going to paste it over here as well yeah it's looking like uh, a huge wind is blowing through his mouth perfect and after that i'm going to come over here and just parent this head layer with neck neck layer with body body layer with the car body car body is this particular layer and i'm going to move the anchor point of this car body layer and put it over here and same with this one i'm going to parent this with the car body and this forearm will stay over here and i'm going to parent it with the car body arm with this forearm or rather i am going to just add pin tool on this arm so one over here one over here and i'm going to select the puppet property and come over here in tweak and select add bones okay so i'm going to parent this one with forearm and this one with the body layer body means the character's body okay same with this so uh, with the hand that is holding the steering so i'm going to solo it down again and just put one pin over here and one over here and select the pin and add bones perfect and i'm going to parent this one with this hand two and hand two with the steering steering with this uh, car body and this second one with this uh, character's body and after that i'm going to select this car seat layer and parent this with car body let's check it out if everything is selected yeah everything is selected just the reflection layers are left so for that again i'm going to use track mat so for this one i'm going to copy let's scale it and can view it properly so i'm going to copy this window front window once again and let's name it mat and i'm going to put it above this reflection layer and just use it as an alpha mat and also i'm going to apply some blending mode over here so i'm going to select this overlay same with this other reflection layer as well okay after that i'm going to select this layer and parent it with this one this one with this one a reflection with its mats perfect and i'm going to select this layer and this one as well okay this one is already parented so i'm going to select this layer and also parent it with car body let's check it now yeah everything is perfect okay so after that let's proceed with the car animation so right now i'm going to select the car body layer and press p on the keyboard to open the position property and put a keyframe and then I'm going to press R to open the rotation property and put a keyframe. Then I'm going to press U to open all the properties with keyframes. And after that, I'm going to jump on to next six frames. And I'm going to press the down key to bring it down, bring the car layer down a bit. And let's add some rotation to it as well. And I'm going to move the initial position of the keyframes a bit higher. Yeah, this one is all right. And after that, I'm going to rotate it in the opposite side as well. All right. And after that, I'm going to copy these two layers and paste it over here and go to keyframe assistant and reverse the keyframe order. And let's select the keyframe and I'm going to easy is it. Perfect. So after that, I'm going to apply the loop expression. Okay. And after that, I'm going to offset this rotation slightly of about two frames to get some follow through. And let's check the animation. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So after that, I'm going to 
also add some squash and stretch to the tire layer as well but before that i'm going to oh, select all the tire layers and open the scale property and just leave one of the tire layer and i'm going to select this pick whip and just connect this scale property with this tire layer same with the other ones as well so let's do that now what it will do is when i'm going to scale up or scale down one of the tire layers all the all the rest of the tires will follow the same value so after that i'm going to put a keyframe on this scale property at zero and after that i'm going to jump on to next six frames and just squash it a bit so i'm going to add around two in the x-axis and subtract around two from the y-axis okay we can do one more thing we can simply move the anchor point to at this corner so that it squashes and stretches from this point same with the other tire layers as well okay right now i'm going to just jump on to the next six frames and copy the initial frame and just easy is it and after that i'm going to copy this expression Control c and press alt to open this panel and paste the expression over here and let's check our animation yeah it's looking perfect so after that i'm going to copy this rotation property and i'm going to select the body layer neck layer and the head layer and paste it over here so it will basically copy and paste with with the expression itself so we no longer need to re i just have we just no longer need to copy the expression again and paste it over here okay so after that i'm going to offset it by two frames same with the body to the neck and i'm going to offset the head with the neck by two frames okay let's check our animation perfect and right now i'm going to apply some slight for squash and stretch to this particular animation so i'm going to open the scale property of the body and add a keyframe over here and after that i'm going to jump on to the next six frames and just add some squash to at this particular point so i'm going to add one on the x-axis and subtract one from the y-axis and I'm going to do the opposite over here and here I'm going to copy and paste the initial frame and after that I'm going to copy the expression the loop expression and paste it over here perfect and then I'm going to offset it again and let's check our animation now perfect but uh, we need to do one thing we need to just uh, turn off the visibility of these bone layers because we don't need it anymore also we can shy it out a bit so i'm going to click on this and just activate this and the layers will be gone so it's not completely deleted but it will be hidden from this particular timeline perfect so after that as our car animation is done okay so we were left with the reflection animations so first of all i'm going to just apply overlay to this particular layer and i'm going to select this reflection layer and open the position property and jump on to next 20 frames and move it to the opposite side somewhere around here and i'm going to jump over here and move it over here 
so I'm going to add the expression property over here sim over here as well so let's check our animation perfect okay now our car animation is done and also uh, also the shadow layer as well we are going to apply the overlay effect on it the blend overlay blending mode on it and i'm going to turn on the scale property because when the car is the car body of the car is moving up and down a bit then the shadows shape of the shadow will also change as well so for that i'm going to put a keyframe just uh, uh with the same timing with this particular uh, car position so for that i'm going to put a keyframe at the at the zero at the initial pose and again i'm going to put a keyframe over here but i'm going to scale it down up a bit and again this is in the initial position i'm going to copy it and paste it over here and just use use it and paste this loop expression and uh, let's check our animation perfect okay so the only thing that's left over here is the animation of the tree and uh, and the animation of the bushes so for the trees we can simply parent one tree with the other so we can just simply if we move one the both will move together so i'm going to open the position property jump on to next 30 frames let's say and just move it over here and for the initial position i'm going to move it somewhere over here okay and after that i'm going to just paste the loop expression over here Okay, let's speed it up. Alright, so I'm going to just uh, add some motion blur to it. Perfect. And right now, same with the bushes as well. So I'm going to add a ruler over here and another one over here. So you can notice that the pattern of the bushes are similar for the for each of the sides and also in the middle so the, here is a break breaking point so we are for a loop expression the initial and the final position needs to be same so for that i'm using this ruler so first of all i'm going to open the position property and i'm going to jump on to the next keyframe where the tree is and after that i'm going to move the push layer and i'm going to match the position of the bush with this particular ruler perfect and after that let's add the loop expression so from this view it will look better let's check it all right so with this our car animation is done it is very simple and easy to do i have also provided the illustration file in the description go download it and try it on your own so if you have any doubt regarding the lesson do make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out so that is it for this lesson hope you like the video if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye